Hello friends, in this session we are going to take up a talk, topic of B plus tree insertion. So uh, in this particular example, I have taken up the case of even branching factor. That is, or we can say the order is even. The order over here, which I have taken for this particular example is 4. So what we have been given with is the elements to be inserted, which are these elements. Now the order is 4. So maximum pointers in an internal node will be 4 and minimum pointers in an internal node will be ceiling function of 4 by 2 which is 2. Now this implies that maximum search keys will be 4 minus 1 which is 3 and minimum search keys will be 2 minus 1 which is 1. So that means the elements or the numbers which are present in one node they need to be minimum one number needs to be present and maximum three can be accommodated and when the number increases above three then the node split occurs that is the node split occurs when the fourth element comes and node gets merged if the count goes below one so let's start it from the beginning i just i'll just uh, start inserting the elements from the very first element which is 25 now when i insert 25 it is the very basic case or it is the, since it is the very beginning there is no issue there there is no conflict it is only the first element that needs to be inserted i insert it directly and the pointers are null left and right pointers are null now next when we insert 9 what will happen is the capacity of this node is three elements can be accommodated so there is still place we can insert 9 we insert it directly but we maintain the order since 9 is less than 25 what will we do we will write 9 first and then 25 right so similarly when the next element is 4 so when we insert 4 again we maintain the order and we perform the insertion now the count of the elements has gone to 3 so whenever I will try to insert the next element the node split is gonna occur so when I insert 16 node capacity was full so split will occur now how will you perform split just in rough what you can do is you can insert the element first and then you can see where the split will occur so if i insert the element it will come like 4 9 16 and 25 now when the split occurs what we do is we find out the middle element and we make it as the parent but now in this case since the number of elements are even we'll have to decide which is going to be the middle element or the parent of the node or the root of the tree right so what we do over here is the mid element is calculated in this manner it is 1 2 3 4 number of elements were 4 so 4 by 2 plus 1 now please pay attention this plus 1 is uh, aside of the fraction it is not included in the fractional part so 4 by 2 is the fraction plus 1 after you compute this then you're going to add 1 now this this term this index term will give you the middle element so this comes out to be 3 so the third element is your middle element which is the third element that is 16 so 16 is your middle element what you do over here is then you insert 16 you make the 16 as the parent then this comes out to be 4 9 16 and 25 right 4 9 16 and 25 now why have I written 16 over here because the rule of B plus 3 says that all your leaf nodes should give you the complete list of elements present in the B plus 3. So now also we know that these elements need to be strictly less than this and these elements can be more than or equal to this. Now that simply means that this 16 can only be inserted over here not here because these are strictly less than 16 and 16 cannot be less than 16 right it can be more than or equal to 16 so uh, 16 will be accommodated over here order is maintained and rest is same next element that i need to insert is one now this is important how you approach inserting one now now first of all you'll check you'll check it over here that 1 is less than 16 or more than 16 so 1 is less than 16 then you will proceed in the left hand side branch so in the left branch when you will move 
then you'll again find out the perfect place according to the order and you'll perform the insertion so over here which is the perfect place it is over here first then the number elements will be 1 4 and 9 now this node is full so that means the next element if we are going to insert it over here it is going to give you the it is going to result in splitting of the node so next element is 20 so essentially 16 is less than 20 that means 20 will go in the right hand side branch we insert the 20 element over here by maintaining the order next element is 13 13 is less than 16 it will move to the left hand side branch and it will lead to a splitting operation now again when we insert the elements it is 1 4 9 3 the third element which is 9 will become the parent we just move it upward so that means 9 will be inserted over here the root node becomes this then the elements less than 9 were 1 and 4 that come to the left hand side branch of 9 or the left pointer of 9 the right pointer of 9 will give you 9 and 13 again 9 can be more than or equal to 9 so it will be inserted over here and 13 and 9 are less than 16 so in the left hand side uh, pointer of 16 and the right hand side will give you right pointer of 16 will give you the elements more than 16 now in the similar manner when you insert 15 you insert it directly in this node again why because when you uh, compare 15 over here it is more than 9 but less than 16 so it will be inserted in this node so insert you insert it in this manner then the next node to be inserted is 10 when you check for 10 it is more than 9 but less than 16 so in this node but again overflow occurs so we'll have to split this node and then you split uh, when you split it 13 becomes the middle element third element and it becomes a new pairing so in the insertion after the insertion the tree becomes this then you insert 11 it was quite simple 11 comes between 9 and 13 it will be inserted over here finally you insert 12 again when you insert 12 an overflow or split occurs over here so you'll have to make 11 as a new parent but when again you'll now when you promote 11 to this node this node is already full so a split occurs over here as well so the new parent in this case will be 9 11 13 16 13 so the 13 becomes the root now 13 becomes the root these are the nodes in the next level the elements will be 9 11 13 16 9 11 13 16 and then the child elements now important point to note over here is i've crossed out this 13 why is it so it's because i said all the elements in the tree should be present in the leaf nodes right but that doesn't mean we need to repeat this element over here as well right so i've just removed it over here because now it is placed as the parent over here and it is retained in this leaf node because 13 is less than 16 so it can be accommodated over here so this was very uh, important point what was the point the point was that all the elements of the b plus tree should be present in the leaf nodes but no repetition should occur in any other node and um, if the element if the element in the list given to you then put list is not getting repeated what i mean by this is if the element let's say 11 was occurring twice then that is very common or very obvious that 11 will occur twice in the leaf nodes and it can also repeat somewhere over here okay so the next element is insert 18 you perform the insertion of 18 it was very simple as 18 is more than 16 so it will be placed over here again a split occurs over here and the tree becomes this right so that's all for this question so we have performed the insertion in b plus tree with an even branching factor in the next session i'm going to take up the case of odd branching factor that's all for this session stay tuned for more good work coming up thank you